Okay, so step two is solving the first layer of the Rubik's Cube, which is this right here. So, you know, you've got, after you do the cross, with the uh, middles lined up, next we're going to be putting in the corner pieces right here, which also match up to their corresponding colors, so that your entire first layer will be done. Alright. Okay, so there's three cases that can occur when you're uh, solving the first layer, and I'm going to go over all of them. Um, so let's do the first case, which is this one right here. Um, and basically, it's when the white is in front here. So if you have a corner and the white is in front, then you know, you, you know we're talking about this first case right here. So this corner right here is white, green, orange. So what we need to do is we need to look for the white, green, orange slot, in which case is right here. So you've got green, green right here, orange right here, and white right here. So we want to move this corner piece right there. So, so that it looks something like this. All right. So um, the algorithm for this, there's actually two ways you can do this one, and it depends. Um, one of them is a little bit shorter, and one of them is just quicker. So the first algorithm is front inverted. So we're going to go front inverted right here, up inverted, front. And that moves it in its correct spot right there. Um, and the other way you can do it is, so up, so up, right, because we move the right clockwise, up inverted, and move the up layer like that, and then right inverted. And that moves it that way. So um, it, all, it, it all depends on which one you want to use. Um, I like the second one because it's a lot quicker. You can just go, it's just open that, toss it in, put it down instead of like this awkward like that, like that, and then like that. But it's just personal preference, wh whichever is easier for you. Okay, so this is our second case right here, in which case we've got the white facing to the side, so it's off to the right, instead of, instead of it being right there, it's right here. So um, the alg algorithm for this one, it's very simple and it's very quick. This is probably the easiest case right here. It's just right, so we're going to look at the right and go clockwise. Up, so up, and then right inverted, just like that. So um, again, if you want to see it again, just right, up, right inverted. And that's pretty much it. It's really quick. It's just uh, just like that. Alright, so this is our third case, and it's the toughest case. So the white is on top. So again, we got the white, blue, orange. So we're going to find the white, blue, orange slot, which is right here. And what you want to do is you want to perform this algorithm. Um, so you're going to go right, U2, so that's two U's, right inverted, up inverted, right, up, right inverted. So if you want to memorize that algorithm, it's really easy. But there's also another way to do it. Um, there's another way to think about it anyway. All you really have to remember is right, U2, right inverted. If you can remember that, then look at it now. It's uh, that second case that we discussed, um, the really easy one, where it's just right, up, right inverted. Um, so it's fairly simple, and, uh, you know, that's it. Alright, so now I'm going to do a sample solve of the first layer, and uh, if any, you know, weird cases come up, uh, I'm going to go over those. Alright, so, and I'm going to go step by step, just so you guys know how to do it. Um, so I noticed this first edge right here, it's white, red, green, and I also see the red, green, white slot right here. So I'm going to use that first algorithm, u, r, u prime, r prime. Stick that piece in there. Now I'm going to scroll around again, and I see this piece right here, the white, blue, red. So I'm going to find the uh, 
white, blue, red slot, which is right here, white, blue, red. And then I'm going to do that algorithm right up, right inverted. Um, I see this right here, the uh, one with the white on top. Um, the white, green, orange slot right here, white, green, orange, ed corner, I mean. So then I'm going to go right, U2, right inverted, up inverted, right up, right inverted. And, okay, so now I'm scanning my top layer, and I don't see any edges with white in them. Does that mean I'm done? And that's no. We've got this corner piece right here. It's in the right slot. It's just incorrectly flipped. So you think, okay, how do I fix this? Well, there's no algorithm that just flips it, really. So what you have to do is you have to insert a corner in there, which in turn will pop it out right here. So we'll just use this corner right here, and we're going to go right, up, right inverted. And as you can see, it popped it out to right here. So then we can just move it in that spot, and then we can go right, up, right inverted. And that's your first layer.